up, what's up? How y'all feeling? Nice, nice. That's what's up. Um, first question I got for y'all. Who, who got tattoos out here? Make some noise if you got tattoos. Nice. Make some noise if you got tattoos of another person's name on you. Okay, so y'all never been in real love. I get it. You know, it's cool. One time I was having sex with this girl and she had another dude's name tattooed on her. And that didn't bother me because I'm not an insecure guy, you know? I don't think about stuff like that. The thing that threw me off was that it had an apostrophe S on that. I'm like, how possessive is this guy that it gotta be grammatically correct, you know? And then also, it's not a work lunch. Putting your name on it don't make it yours. It's also not gonna stop me from eating your leftovers. Like, <laughs> I'm still gonna do that, you know? Oh man, um, well, another hot topic of the day. Uh, you know this whole privilege thing going around. I know y'all heard about it. I see some of you just sitting basking in it. You know, it's cool. I wanna let y'all know that I'm not jealous at all, you know? Cause we got privileges black people too. Yeah! You know, there you go, she know about it. You gotta work a little harder to find it and search for it, but it's there, you know? Like one time I'm at the bar and apparently we care about turtles now, so I gotta get herpes with the rest of the fucking city and I gotta drink out of glasses. I say no. So I'm at the bar, they don't serve straws. It's Madison, it's a bar right next door. I go over there and get straws from there. Now me and my black friend, the only two people in the bar, only two people with straws and I drink. White couple comes up and they say, order drinks, bartender tell them the same thing, we don't got straws. And then they look at us and say, well, how did y'all get straws? I look her dead in the eye and say, we told them that our lips was too big for their cup, had to get us straws. <laughs> oh man. Um, Another thing that I was uh, thinking about, like, I don't know if y'all know, like, black guys and they barbers, it's a sacred, sacred bond that we have, you know? Like, we treat our, our barbers and our wives is probably, like, on the same level. Like, that connection is real serious. But, like, we cheat on them the same way, you know? And one, only when it's necessary and only across state lines, you know? That's it. The only difference is we cry a little bit when somebody else cut our hair. Like, we don't like that. It feels bad. So, as you can see, I'm up here looking rough right now because my barber decides he ain't gonna text me back. Naturally, I'm feeling some type of way. I'm in my feelings like, hold on, what is you doing? Finally text me back today. He just hit me with the group text. Hey, y'all, y'all can keep going to the barber shop, but I'm not cutting hair no more, da-da-da. I'm doing trucking school. And I instantly got mad like, dude, I was coming to your apartment and getting my hair cut down there. I was shooting with you in the gym. You give me a personal text, you know? I almost texted him back like, it's funny how you be... <laughs> oh man, I did have an um, afro like a while ago. I had a lot more hair than this, you know, as we do sometimes. And um, I got it cut because a friend of mine, like he had long, luxurious hair, came down this show, he used to blow in the wind. My mama would call it good hair, you know? And then he showed up bald one day and I'm like, damn, why, you know, why would you do that? He said, well, I did, you know, donated the cancer. I wanted to get some good karma on my side. I'm like, damn, I need some of that too. I ain't always been living right out here, you know? <laughs> so I cut my hair, bag it up, take it down to the place. Turns out they don't take Afro hair at these places, y'all. <laughs> Give a cancer patient a bag of Afro hair, they just think you're giving them a bag of pews. <laughs> Nobody really wants that, you know? Now I got a bunch of cancer patients looking at me all mad in the face. At least what I can only assume was anger. They didn't have hair on their eyebrows, didn't read their facial expressions well, you know. <laughs> Appreciate everybody that laughed at that with me. Hell won't be so bad if we in there together, you know. <laughs> um, before I get out of here, I got a question for y'all. Any of y'all got black friends? Nice, nice. Have any of them ever made like cupcakes, pies, cookies, anything for y'all, right? That's an anomaly, because I'm not finna tell her to her face that her bacon is bad. <laughs> Naturally, though, black people can't bake. We not the best bakers, y'all got us on that. Cooking, y'all, we killing. We destroying. Best cooks. Bacon, that's a white people activity, y'all got that. Always face like it's straight out the bakery, straight out of Jewel Osco, cops, whatever you want to get your birthday cakes from, you know? But we suck because you gotta follow instructions to the T. And black people are skeptical by nature. We're not just finna be believing you telling us something because you told us. So when we see like three fourths cups of sugar, we like, oh, we can put a whole cup of sugar in there. It's close enough to one, you know? 
Let alone, we ain't got the full thing of measuring cups anyway. Three-fourths, we got the one cup. We ain't got the three-fourths. And besides, last time we listened to y'all handing out the fractions, we didn't really come out too even, so. <laughs> we only be dealing with whole numbers, you know. Don't worry, y'all, it's just history. None of y'all did it. 